This is Sol Johnston in 6224, configuring the IPv4 static and default routes. So here's our network topology, and we'll be setting all this up right here. And first router we're going to start off with is going to be router 1. So let's go ahead and go to our router 1. Starting off with the command prompt here. Enable configure terminal IP route one seventy two dot thirty one dot zero dot zero two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero one seventy two dot thirty one dot one dot ninety three and now you have to basically look at our chart here to really get a grasp of what's going on. But yes, yeah, go ahead and type in our other IP route. This is the 172.31.1.196.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
click show IP route static. There we go. Directly connected to the serial port. And it has a default route. And then also, um, I want to set up one more thing here for our R3. So if we make a we want to fu make a fully static route, this is how we would do it right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So do configure terminal, IP route 172.31.0.0, setup mask of 255.255.255.252, the serial of 0 slash 0 slash 1. We're also going to put 172.31.1.197. type something in here. So 2.52. And our version of Packet Tracer doesn't support this, uh, these commands basically. That's why we're getting an error. I forgot it didn't, otherwise, I wouldn't have put them in there. But, uh, but yeah, if we ping now, it should work. I might have to create an arc table first, but we'll see here. So um, let's go ahead and so we're gonna go here, PC1. Let's go ahead and try to ping 172.32.31.1.190. So it had to make the art table, that's why it timed out here, but then after that, it was good. So basically, we were. Uh, we're actually trying to ping this one right here. And actually, if you want to show a little bit more information, you can do tracer instead of ping. So, let's go ahead and do tracer. And I'll show every single part of our network right here along the way for each IP address they had to go through. There you go. And I did notice when I checked the results that it wasn't quite correct and it's just because I did a little typo instead of doing IP route with the 193 and put a 93. So once I fixed that I just basically put the command no IP route and I erased that one basically and then I put an IP route and I put the correct one in and now everything should look correct on here so when I check the results you 60 out of 60